the business of representation, so I have to play this game of representation to make uh, understand people that I'm able to use my body language. Can you feel Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, okay, I just go to the show and I dress very easily. But sometimes I want to tell to the industry that, guys, I'm, I'm aware. Business is about uh, personality, personality of designer, personality of uh, of um, uh, stylist, personality of uh, photographer. If every piece of the creative process is very strong on this base, the results will just go be like beyond. Are you a sophisticated young lady? I'm half and half. I'm sometimes sophisticated and sometimes I just don't want to do any effort. Um, and uh, my vision of sophistication is um, details. Details. It's like, but I have to be um, very pure, minimal, simple, simple, not too heavy. It's good to accumulate like on a arm some bracelet, but not like until there. Or and uh, you can do some stuff like this. It's always, the sophistication can be broke for one little detail. You don't have to keep asking have we met before All that small talk really gets to be a bore If you want to get the girl you better show what you got If you want to get a little you better have a lot You can't get But the cause is that she completely bring all of those inventions from the 60s and 70s and bring it here. And uh, she modern it by the choice of color and uh, also the structure of the clothes. If you want all the goods, you better have a good trade. Add a little respect and you might get laid. The more you give it, the more you receive. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I don't like the rush of uh, the designer uh, thing. There is no assimilation, no briefing time. And I'm kind of like a Chintoist about that. I, the, the empty time is important because it's what makes the full time good quality. People see me but they just don't know What's in my heart and why I love you so We have like hair and makeup very natural, very easy looking. Like I wake up, I just touch up myself a little bit. The look is very late 80s, early 90s. 
shoulders, a uh, bit of uh, futurist uh, vision of the 80s. because you have like the vision of the future from the past bring to the modern time and the vision of the past in the future. You see what I mean? What sign are you? Libra. Can you hear the sound? Turn around, lose your frown. The beat is pumping down on the crown. You gotta take your chance, make your move, do your thing. All your constraints be yourself So are you ready to lose control And be a part of me right now And I will show you the brightest light and set You read horoscopes? Uh, no, but I, because the horoscope is a business first. But I do believe that there is a world of correspondence and parallel uh, so it's the same, like we connect to the color, we connect to the stars, I really do believe that. But not what you read in the paper, newspaper. I was Jen Berkin. And then after, I was like a, a little about uh, the beginning of his collection, the seller part, you know, like all the raffia, uh, stripe, seller dress. You did a fabulous photo shoot for Vogue Paris. Thank you. I really uh, like it too. I like it a lot. Yeah, tell me about that photo shoot. Uh, hello. I did actually two. I did one with Mario Sorrenti, who was really, really great, and the second one with Martin Marcus. One was in August and the other one was in September. Both of them was complete, like amazing shoot, honestly. Completely different. One is much more about natural beauty, the other one is about conceptual. Uh, it's completely two, two different way of work. Nature. I love nature. It's my is my is my roots. It's my base. Is my if I, if I don't go back to nature, I can get crazy in cities. I don't like cities. Pollution, not good food, mad people.